And away they go from that 1,800 meter mark. Academic Gold and Veronica Mars both responded quite well. Towards the inside, Lovers of Rose has also shown a good amount of early pace, but is going to concede position to race in that third place in only two lengths off the early pace. Follow the Stars is further back in running, racing alongside Green Grow the Lilacs, and Bye Bye Bombshells racing last of all, about six lengths off the early pace. As Academic Gold has set quite a medium tempo at the moment, not the quickest, but not the slowest. It's a good gallop. Back in second is Veronica Mars racing on the outside of Lovers of Rose in third. Then comes Green Grow the Lilacs in the one-out position on the outside of Follow the Star. And last of all is Bye Bye Bombshell. He's still got about five lengths to make up as they make the turn with just under 1,200 meters left to go. It's Academic Gold that still shows the way by two lengths. Veronica Mars back in second in the blue and white sorts. Lovers of Roses on the inside in third. Then comes Green Grow the Lilacs in that one-out position in fourth. Follow the stars further back and running and bye bye bombshell still last of all. There's been no change in the water whatsoever as they make the angle in to the top of the straight with just over 650 meters left to go. It's Academic Gold who's still in front, Veronica Mars back in second. Lovers of Rose along the inside rail in third, then comes Green Grow the Lilacs in fourth. Follow the star, one from last and bye bye bombshell still traveling quite well and is last of all as it got just over 450 meters left to go. Academic Gold took an awkward stride into the home straights. Lovers of Rose is starting to move up strongly with Veronica Mars. Bye bye bombshell also starting to make late headway towards the outside is Green Grow the Lilacs. Follow the star towards the inside as they're into the closing stages with just on 200 meters left to go. It's Lovers of Rose that struck the front, gone past Academic Gold. Veronica Tomas is also starting to run him smartly, deep route to Bye Bye Bombshell, but number two, Lovers of Rose, is home and hosed here. It's Lovers of Rose who's gone clear, and Lovers of Rose is going to be a comfortable winner from Veronica Tomas in set, and then came Academic Gold in third, Bye Bye Bombshell in fourth, followed by Follow the Star, and Green Grow the Lilacs last of all. The winner, number two, Lovers of Rose, one from the right hand side, the sheepskin noseband, the green sleeves, green cap, a grand for the Indian stable. It's bred up by Mr. Enel Brett and owned in the sorts of Etienne Braun, John Lamb, and Wayne Meeling. A big congratulations to the winning connections here for the three year old Bay Fully by Master of My Fate. Just a little bit all over the place, now get straightened up, and Grand Finita looking over his shoulder. A comfortable win at the end for number two, Lovers of Rose, in race number three. Race three, Cape Racing Sales Class three for the Phillies and Mares over the 1800 has been won by number two, Lovers of Rose, daughter of Master of My Fate. Well done to Andile Mzwalu. He's received the 1,000 Rand thanks to Hollywood Bets and also to mention Cape Racing. Grant Finikak was the jockey aboard. Grant, well done. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. You've got a very good strike rate with the Greg Enyan yarn, but uh, did you go in confident? Look, she had a nice galloping weight um, on her back end. I was fairly confident of a good run from her. Um, I know she can throw in one or two false runs, um, and where she doesn't really put it together in the race. Um, last time I rode her, she was travelling just too hard, you know, for her to quicken as well. So um, there was a nice pace on today, and she was settling nicely. And uh, she, no, she won the way we think that uh, she can progress into a nice filly. So let's hope she carries on. Well done for the win, Grant. Yeah, no, it's lovely to have um, only have a few rides today. It's just nice to have a winner today, and to Mr. Etim Brown and uh, Wayne. Uh, I'm pretty sure they said that uh, Greg Indian has to stay away from races now. <laughs> there you go. Grant loves giving me a little bit of cheek. Next up, I'm going to chat to Sia Bolela. He's, going to, he's representing the Greg Indian Yard. And well done for the win. Well done, Vili. Uh, 24 Grant is a good rider. He rides nicely. He's a good winner. I saw now his, that horse is very good. He's work nice and he's stable. Everything is good. So I'm happy that this. I said thank you, Mr. Enyon, for giving me that chance for to come to races. Uh, he's not here, he's not in the job back. I think he's happy now. Thank you for the honor, everything. My guys in the stable, he's working nicely. I'm uh, very thank you. I'm happy. Well done. Thank you. There you go. That's Sir Bolela, and uh, he's representing the Greek Enyon Yard. Both, I don't know why Wayne hangs back, he's so fresh. <laughs> well done. You can never leave Wayne behind. <laughs> Yeah. Well done for the win. Yeah, lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, things happen in life for a reason. She was going to PE to run in that feature last week, and then the African horse sickness scuttled that. So we said we're going to stay here. And well done to Greg at the sales, and great ride by Grant. Well done to John Lamb, who's on the way overseas, and managed to get Wayne here. <laughs> well, Wayne, look, you, Wayne's chomping at the bit. You've had a very good week, you were saying? 
Yeah, no, I mean, lovely was well done to the partners, and it's been a good week. I mean, we won a tuna comp on Etienne's boat the weekend, so hopefully it will be um, a great week for us. Thank you. Well, enjoy the celebrations. I know that's your forte. Thank you very much. There you go. Well done to the partnership uh, involved with number two, Lovers of Rose. The only, it was Etienne Broad, John Lamb and uh, Wayne Meeling. Also well done to Mr. Engelbrecht for breeding, the daughter of Master of My Fate, number two, Lovers of Rose. Also well done to Greg Indian up in Johannesburg. Sales, a lovely win from the filly and well-ridden by Grant Vinikak.